Hello and welcome to Trading the Trend. It's Wednesday the 26th of October. Last week Axel was looking for a continuation of his bearish gold trade, shifting that stop loss to break even. We still remain within that trend so let's just look at that firstly and then let's take another look at something else that I think might be an interesting trade alongside it. This is that trend. So you can see here the bearish trend still playing out upside for gold as things stand, moving us back towards that descending trend line. 1689, I believe, was his entry. So we're still below that level. Hopefully this retracement doesn't necessarily come as far as that. Uh, but thankfully he has shifted that stop loss. So that could give the possibility of us reversing. But at worst, we're out uh, without a loss. For me, I wanted to take a look at the German DAX. This is a very interesting market. If you look at the wider perspective, you can see that we are very clearly within a bearish phase over the course of 2022. And the rally that we've been seeing over the course of the past few weeks has taken us into an interesting area. The 100 day SMA has on a number of occasions been breached with price then returning back to this trend line resistance. That points towards the potential for us to top out between this 100 day SMA and this descending trend line. And as we move higher, we are now moving into this 76.4 Fibonacci level. So for me, I think this is a good area to be able to get back into this bearish trend, looking for shorts in the DAX and placing my stop loss above this most recent swing high. On this occasion, we'll place it, let's say, 136.70, which should also mean that if we do get back towards these upper levels, then the 200 day SMA by that point should be around about where the 135.71 is as well. So that gives us further upside resistance. So having to be short DAX looking for a bearish reversal in the coming week or so.